So let's talk about what clean and tidy mean, because this is very important in order to bring information into um, Grasshopper and have it be usable. So clean data means that you've already fixed data that would be incorrect, inaccurate, incomplete, or irrelevant. Whereas tidy data is more about the organization. So tidy, we would need one variable per column, one entry per row, and one purpose or unit per table. And as an analogy, I like to think of this, if you're uh, cleaning your room, or trying to um, straighten your room. Uh, if you have, say, really dirty clothes or you've lost clothes or it's ripped or torn, that's kind of like unclean data, right? So you'd want to make sure that the clothes are clean, that they're not uh, broken. But tidy is more about, um, all right, you might have very clean clothes, but are they in the right drawer? Are they organized, right? So think, uh, that's a useful analogy. So let's take a look at our um, Excel spreadsheet. So uh, as we pulled that into Grasshopper, we had a bunch of, um, again, we came in from um, column A. So it brought in this value as the first column and a bunch of empties that went all the way down here. And notice, because I have this random X sitting in here, it was pulling in a whole bunch of extra rows. We had 27 rows. When really all I want is the information that's in here. So this is um, both unclean and untidy uh, in many ways because it was meant to be read by people. And this is what happens very often where we use Excel uh, to be human readable, not machine readable. And all those things we do to format it, right? I made fancy little uh, groups. I have nice spaces in between them. This makes it easy for me to understand as I'm looking at it here, but it makes it much more difficult for uh, it to be leveraged by code. So much of the data cleaning and data tidying that we need to do is to translate information that we probably put together to be useful for us uh, and put it into a format that is better for the computer. So let's talk about um, clean. So we're looking for what kind of inaccurate, incorrect, incomplete, or irrelevant information is in here. Now what I'm looking for is, I mean, what this whole sheet is for is giving me a cost per square foot of different material types that you see here. Um, well, let's look for inaccuracies. So notice this 1000 to 110. That's probably a mistake. That probably was supposed to be 100 to 110. Uh, and it's important to point out that you should never just trust the data that you're given, especially if you're reaching out from a, a, to a third party to get this information. You should always check your data to make sure that it makes sense, that it's clean, because garbage in, garbage out. So the first thing we'd want to do is to maybe um, check for these mistakes. So that should be 100, not 110. Maybe this should be uh, per square foot, not per linear foot. And notice this dash XX, this is a missing value. So I would need to reach out and make sure that this value gets filled. So those are the kinds of things that make this um, data set uh, unclean. Now, when it comes to tidy, that's about organization. And basically all of the formatting that we did here, all of that uh, should be thro thrown out because it makes it very untidy. So let's take a look at the clean and tidy format tab, which is gonna show the exact same information, but in a format that is much, much more machine readable. So uh, first of all, all the values are filled out and they're all correct. So let's just assume that this is now clean data, but it's very tidy because every column is its own uh, singular value. So column A is material type and I have those three materials uh, labeled. And you see here, that's was used to be collected sort of randomly in this um, merged and centered cell. Now I've said I right, glass is its own row, um, material type is its own column, and I've split that uh, single text value into three uh, columns. I have cost low, cost high, and then the unit, if that were to some reason change. All of these are different pieces of information associated with the glass material type. And I can add as many uh, rows as I want, and I can add new features as I need. So this is both clean and tidy. Now let's look at uh, another example of uh, untidy information because it can get a little complicated. So this looks very similar to what we just did. And I think this is just a um, random data set I found online talking about uh, for each country, uh, the percentage of the population, I guess uh, these are income brackets. Now this might look very tidy, <clears throat> right? Looks super well organized. I can read this, I can understand that. All right, Argentina, and here's the, the uh, spread. However, um, although this is pretty tidy, each row includes more than one item. <clears throat> so yeah, this is all Argentina, but really each of these categories uh, could be thought of as, as, as its own row. So this is often what uh, data modelers will do. They'll translate data into something more like this format. So here, um, it's now been expanded to say, 
uh, I'm going to create a new row for every income range and the country is not actually the the full row but the country is actually a feature so when I have uh, a unique country a unique income range and now I have one um, one value this is not very uh, legible to a person but for something like grasshopper this would be very easy because then I could reference different rows I could filter I could search whereas in this untidy example a lot of the information about what is this value is based on the column that it's in not the row so if I were to just look at say row 3 and let's assume I didn't know what the column titles were I might have no idea what these values are right it's just a bunch of percentages but in the tidy example for every row I'm gonna have that information in the row itself so Argentina the income range and now the value so this might be less important for a lot of stuff we might do in architecture but uh, just a little bit more of an example of how you might be able to uh, create more organized data that can be more useful to you. So let's take a look back in Grasshopper at um, this revised clean and tidy data format. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to copy uh, this down. Now if I want to open um, we didn't talk about here was this uh, work set. It automatically defaults to the very first um, tab in Excel. If I want to have a very particular tab, I could either use the index or I can type in the name. So let's type in, uh, I think it's called clean and tidy format was our second tab. Plug that into the work set, worksheet. And now you'll see it's been updated. And this uh, L button um, allows it to listen for changes. So if I were to make an update in this Excel file while it's open, it could then automatically update. It's a very useful feature. So let's take a look at uh, how having data that's clean and tidy is useful. This is much better, right? If I'm trying to maybe break this up, select a particular thing, this is, this is great. Compared to this mess, this is going to require a lot of fancy code, a lot of very specific list item of this index. You know, it's going to be a mess. Um, this I can use. So let's use it. 